Well, after decades of denial and secrecy and flat out lying, America's defense establishment is finally admitting some of what it knows about UFOs. The Navy has admitted that its pilots encounter unidentified aircraft so often that they've had to draft new reporting guidelines to allow pilots to come forward. It's easy to find this funny, but it's also scary if you think about it. Our vast, well-funded defense establishment is seeing things in the sky they cannot account for, doing things they cannot understand. Should we be worried? Congressman Mark Walker is a Republican representing the state of North Carolina. He just sent a letter to the Secretary of the Navy, Richard Spencer, about the military's UFO investigations. We recently spoke to the congressman. Here's part of what he said. Should we be worried about this? Well, we, we are concerned about it. As the ranking member of terrorism and counterintelligence, we have questions. Uh, it comes down to some of the new infrared radar systems that we're putting on some of our new jets are detecting some things out there. We call them unidentified uh, aerial threats, and that's something, something that we're looking at. Our UAPs is what we call it. We want to know the information, and that's why it's important that we take a look at this. So this has been going on an awfully long time. There's a lot of data the government have, has stored about this. Most of it, I think, is still classified. But there must be theories about what these objects are, what these aircraft are. What's the most plausible theory, do you think? Well, what we don't know for sure. Obviously, what we do know uh, is the question that we're wanting to get to is, is this something that's a defense mechanism from another country? We do know that China is looking right. at hypersonic missiles. Uh, that's 25,000 kilometers, or to break it down into our language, that's getting from D.C., where I'm at, to L.A. in about nine minutes. Uh, we don't know that the nuclear warheads can be attached to those. Is it something like that, uh, or is it something more? We, we don't know, but I feel like it, it, it's something that we must take a look Yet, and that's why we've written Secretary Spencer of the Navy. Is there any indication that you're aware of that these sightings are foreign aircraft, Russian or Chinese aircraft? Uh, we, we don't know. Uh, what, we have no evidence to support that. We do know there's something that's traveling at that speed of what we call hypersonic now, which is a Mach 4 or 5, not to right. get too technical. Uh, that is something that we want to know. Is this something that, uh, that another defense system uh, in another country is more advanced, or is it something else? We're not trying to spook people out. But the, AA, the AATIP, uh, which is basically a program that the government monitors this, was to close down in 2017. So part of my question, Tucker, is it really closed down? Are we sp still spending resources, or is there more documentation that this program is still being able to file somewhere? That's, that's something that we need to know, even if it's just for defense purposes alone. We spoke to a government employee who has worked on this issue who said that the U.S. government has wreckage from one of these aircraft. Do you know anything about that? Uh, we don't know, but that's one of the four questions that we are asking. Is there evidence being held somewhere? Not to get too spooky once again, but if there is evidence, right. I believe it's important for people, specifically in my position as the ranking member of terrorism and counterintelligence, we need to know what this is. Of course. That's, and, and those are all legitimate questions. I believe and I'm so. grateful that you're not being bullied or mocked into not asking them. Please, I hope you'll come back and tell us what the answers are. We look forward when we find out the coming back. Thank you, Tucker.